Will Stone will get us started. Giles Jackson set to receive. We are underway in San Antonio, and this kick is short, but a fair catch taken. Wild defense, no hands on the ground. They bring four. Panic stays in the pocket and is picked off. Darren Thompson with his first pick of the season. Get it to him out in space through the air, kind of running back. Yours gets taken down. Fell short, let it go a little early. Misjudged the speed. Washington blocks it. They set the house and the Huskies will pounce on it. And they'll have it inside the 30. Watch the looper right here. He's going to loop around. Little stunt. You see that a lot with defensive linemen and pass rush. Don't see it a ton on special teams. And nobody there. Ulofosio came in to get it. He was a blue chip recruit a few years ago. That's why you'll see Penix reset that pocket so much. Blitz coming. Penix goes to the out route. And incomplete. Trying to get it to Jalen McMillan. Late clock now at three. Second team all Pac-12 kicker. They get it off in time. And that one is good. Ewers comes to Xavier Worthy. And Worthy out of Fresno, California, had a fantastic season for Texas this year. The number is dipped. It's with a nice, easy throw. He has a catch in every game he's played in college. It's... 25th consecutive and now Jordan Whittington gets in on the fun and he's able to shake for a first down Ewers swings it out nice catch and a big first down for Casey Kane and he takes it down the sideline to set up Texas at the 10 yard line a 27 yard game they'll stack Whittington behind him going the opposite way into the end zone it's Kane, but he is out of bounds. Who's fifth of the Big 12 in field goal percentage on to attempt a 30-yarder. And the chip shot is good. Texas has answered Washington's score. Longhorns bring only four. Penix lets it go, and that is caught on the sideline by Rome Odunze. It's a pickup of 12. Poured the extra sauce on at the end there. That's how I like it. Penix has time and again goes to his tight end Westover. That's a gain of five and a first down. A third and short. They swing it outside. McMillan's got the first down. And it almost looked like he got taken down by a face mask by Jaron Thompson. The way his head got yanked back. First down regardless for the Husky. Yeah, a little zone read. It's a great pull by Michael Penix. And look at the arm angle. A little sidearm flicked. Get the ball around the defensive end out to Jalen McMillan. On second and six, Talapapa back in. He's got a stiff arm, a first down, and more. Talapapa to the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies from 42 yards. Great push right here on the double team. Moving the defensive tackle out of the way, creating a huge hole in Talapapa. Not the most athletic, not a home run hitter, but does a great job of getting north and south, and right there had just enough speed. Got to remember as well, Texas is without Demarion Overshot. Texas without its top two running backs here in the bowl season. Ewers throws behind and low, and Texas turns it over on downs. Perriman mixed up with Worthy in the coverage downfield. From third and four to third and 14. Texas brings four. Penix leaves the pocket, still wants to throw, and lobs it deep downfield. Incomplete and no flag. Odunze got turned around by Cook. Or they'll try to go more quick game. That's what they're leaning on now. Incomplete, trying to find Whittington on third and three. Texas brings an extra man. Panics completes it. Odunze takes it for a first down, a pickup of 11. With Odunze on the near side. Tyler Papa will run it. And he's got a big game. Cole, what have you seen from this UW offensive line this year? Three and seven on third down. They give him to Tyler Papa on the draw, and he is throw for the first down. Fantastic effort. He did six, got seven. Empty backfield. 
On third and six over the middle. Oh, caught for a first down. Odunze, pickup of 18. Five-man rush. They swing it around and go back to Colt. And he gets the first down. Fake fire incomplete. Too much for Odunze, but still three seconds left on the clock. And this explosive Husky offense held to just one touchdown in the first half. And the chip shot is good for Henry. Xavier Worthy or not. Instead, they go behind Worthy to Jordan Whittington for a 14-yard gain. But how easy is it for a quarterback, or how does it make it simpler? Washington giving that stand-up look. Ewers has nowhere to go at the moment. Then he slip, slips one out to Worthy. Held on to this one and took it for a gain of 21. Through it with a short passing game. Play action again. And he's able to get it out to Jonathan Brooks. Brooks all the way! Touchdown, Texas! He's brought free for a 34-yarder in the first touchdown of the night for the Longhorn. Yeah, they're not going to snap the ball here. They're going to move, take the count, move a couple more times maybe, take the delay a game and punt it. They do snap it! Penix breaks through and picks up the first down. Help with that first down yardage. That's Kirkland at left guard. Born a Husky fan. Penix pulls it back, lobs it out, and they got room to run for Quentin Moore with his first catch of the night. Remember, they converted a fourth down earlier on the QB sneak. Pressure coming. Penix stands tall, delivers a strike for a first down to Jalen McMillan. Uh, nine. nine. Yeah. Sneak one in. Try to run it on third and one, and that's enough for a Huskies first down. Offensive coordinator loves to see a little confusion there about who's going to be low, who's going to be high. Penix slips it out to the tight end. Westover, and he goes up in the air. Lost the football. They say he was down. There was a clear and immediate recovery by Texas if they changed their mind via review. Dies off him, then he sneaks back inside. Penix swings it out to Davis, and he's in. Huskies answer with a touchdown throw from six yards. Westover did the dirty work to get him there. Talapapa, fantastic vision, and he'll carry it for a Washington first down on a gain of 13. Injured late in the week in bull practice, we're told. Penix, a dart. Complete for a gain of 11 to Taj Davis. Delayed blitz, and he's still able to get it out to Odunze. Well, Odunze fights, and he carries three Longhorns with him. For a Husky first down and a flex after. And Washington pushing some dudes around now. And Oliver now with the Bills. They're going to go under center with Penix. And they're going to play action. And he finds his tight end, Culp, who picks up the first down. Bring another defender up or go more of an even front. Washington's got the box out number. And it'll be Newton on the Wildcat, stacked up right at the line to gain. And it'll be a first down. A little tunnel screen. Here's McMillan for the first down and gets taken down by Austin Jordan after a gain of 11. Penix looking that way to the slant, and it is caught. A touchdown for McMillan. Got it right on the shoe tops. That defender then backs off McMillan, gives him Whoa. a little more space. How about the hand to keep is that one from hitting the ground? A heck of a catch. Not an accurate ball for Michael Penix, but wow. Four-man rush. Ewers fits it in. That's a first down to Jordan Whittington. A lot of times after a drop like that, you just need an easy one like this. And there it is. And Worthy takes it inside the 40. The drops are nothing new. Entering tonight, Worthy with 15 drops of the last two seasons. 
They bring a linebacker. Ewers, the out route, and that's good for a first down to Jordan Whittington. On second and ten, over the middle, wide open. A Texas first down inside the ten. Ball out late, but Gunnar Helm will move the chain for Texas. It's Brooks again, and he will turn and end up in the painted end zone. Three-yard touchdown plunge in the Longhorns. Spend just three minutes. They get back in the scoring column. Tech West over shifts. Alapapa does the same, and now it's McMillan. A fourth and 11. Panics fires. Knocked away. And a turnover on downs. And time again, let that clock run. On third and two. To the running back, Robinson again. That's a pickup of five. Washington safeties. Ewers. Complete again to Kane, and he got room to run. That's second and ten. Ewers is going to tuck it and rumble, and he's got a Texas first down. Snap it. Tui Taylor came on late, but he's able to get off the field. Have Ewers incomplete into the end zone. If they would have gotten that snap off, it would have been a first down with 12 on the field. And 49 yards against Alabama late early in the season. And Auburn punches this one through. Little squibber, and that is smothered by the Huskies. Third down seven, 131 to play. Here's Talapapa, change of direction, and the Longhorns get the stop they needed after a couple of yards on that third down play. 25 seconds left, four-man rush. They get to yours. He stays on his feet for a moment. Now he's down. Longhorns have to hurry. Huskies drop two safeties back to midfield. Ewers unloads. They're just going Hail Mary, and that one is caught. And the clock shows triple zeros. Casey Kane with the catch with the Huskies with the win. And what a season in Seattle. Finishing it up here in the Lone Star State. Just the fifth 11-win season in program history. And the celebration between Jackson Kirkland, who came back for another year, and his head coach, Kalen DeBoer.